Liberia claims more lives in sub-Saharan Africa than any other place in the world. Sadly, most of the victims are children. Almost everyone has suffered from malaria, even the babies. It's hardest on the babies. Mm -hmm. It is. Medicine, rapid diagnostic tests, spraying, and insecticide-treated bed nets. A lot of people said it can be done, scale up. You know, the, the health system can't handle it. They showed that it could be done. They showed amazing impact from what they did. How important is a treated bed net to preventing malaria? A treated bed net is important because when a mosquito lands on the treated bed net, it will die. Seven Americans from Seattle have made the long journey here to meet their Zambian partners, men and women working hard to stop the suffering. We're very much committed uh, and we've really tried to do our best, the best that we can do. We are trying by all, all means that we can eradicate uh, malaria. Yeah. We have many mosquitoes. It's a lot of malaria here. The sad truth is there still aren't enough nets for everyone. In Mufulira, the same situation. Today we're distributing about 500 nets. Yeah. And how many could you really use to serve this village adequately? We need something like 3,000 nets. Yeah. Minimum, probably. Minimum, minimum. I think we're all disappointed we weren't able to serve 100% of the need this time. But perhaps one day that will happen because this life-saving partnership is just getting started. We believe in it, we are committed to it, and I believe that if we continue at this rate, we should be able to reduce the incidence of malaria probably by end of next year. They're committed to improving the situation for others less fortunate, so how can you not appreciate and be inspired by that?